Okay, so today I am going to use Sally. And I have my dark bag here. I'll take my hand out. And inside here I have two film holders for 8x10 film and a box of 8x10. I have um, Kodak uh, Tri X320. And I have to load my film holders with the film. And then we will move over to the camera. So, see you in a few. Okay, so I'm done putting my sheets in my holder. And now I'm going to take everything out of the bag here and just kind of show you what I was doing. Okay, so these are my film holders. I only have two. So there's four sheets all together. And this is my film that I'm using. And I just keep it in my dark bag here for next time. Okay, so we're gonna go on over to the camera now. Well, we have a guest here. <laughs> this is Rocco. Okay, so I have looked at my exposures. It, there's quite a variation between her I don't want the sun right on her, but there's quite a variation between the shadow side and the highlight side. And so my camera, um, the most open aperture is F9. So that's really, um, I think I'm going to shoot at F9 at a 60th. And if I do that, then Wow, that is such a variation. That's 16. Or no, that's okay. That is F5, 6. And that is F, oh, and that's F11. Okay. So if I shoot at, I am going to shoot at a 30th at F9. Because in my experience with film, is it's better to expose for the shadow and then print for the highlight um, because if you don't have anything in the shadow there just won't be anything there and you can print down the highlight so that is what I'm going to do and so my model is ready I'm going to get her hair flowing because I love hair flowing now remember you were leaning against the wall so I sort of did my focus. It, this camera is so hard to focus, but I'm going to do my best here. And I'm going to stand back here and check my focus again. Okay, okay so I have Sarah focused. She cannot move because the slightest millimeter makes it come out of focus. So what I'm going to do now is set up my fan to blow her hair. And then I've got my film holder here. I have to remember, because I've done this, not close my lens. If you don't close your lens, you will expose the film for the whole time that it's open. So now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to pray that when I put this in, it doesn't move anything. So, this is why I have been so intimidated by 8x10. It's just, it can be pretty intimidating. Okay, I think I'm in. Am I in though, really? I think I am in. Okay, so I'm ready to, I'm ready to do an exposure. Ready, Sarah? Because you're gonna. Yeah, let's fix your hair. Just a little bit. They are going to want little butterflies. Whoops. Maybe just keep it down a little bit. That's better. Just a slight. That's great. Okay. Ready? You're gonna look right in the camera. 
camera. I'm going to pull out the shutter here, pull out the thingy. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Good girl. Okay. Back in. Okay. Now I'm going to flip it around because got four sheets to get one that's focused good. <laughs> that's how I look at it. Okay. And I'm hoping the focus is still good. What do you think? Okay, so I'm going to get my shutter ready again. There we go. Alright, you ready, Sarah? Okay, well, I'm going to do two more sheets of film. I'm going to recheck my focus, do two more sheets of film, and hopefully we will get one beautifully focused, well-exposed negative. So uh, my next video will be the processing of the film.